the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler poly menu. Locate the crease action. With the crease action selected, you'll see a series of targets and then a series of modifiers down below. The crease action will allow you to come through on any target you have selected and apply creasing around that area. So here I just have it set to crease a poly, and so by simply clicking on this poly, it is going to generate a crease around that poly. Once this creasing has been established, I can use this in tangent with the dynamic subdivision to apply hard and soft edges to the areas on my mesh. Now there's also quite a few modifiers which will determine how the creasing will be generated based on what target you have selected. So if I come through and say select flat island, and now return my model, and just click anywhere on this flat island here, you're going to notice that I'm going to get creasing along all the outer edges of the surface and then also the inner areas. If you do not want creasing on the inner areas, just come back into your Z modeler menu here and change this modifier here to polygroup border. Now this is going to look at the polygroup border in addition to the target you have selected. So now coming back to flat island and clicking is only going to generate the actual crease along the outside edge. Then you can come back and use the dynamic option to generate an effect like this. The other options down here at the bottom will do similar things. The transition values will come through and look at the actual transitions on your models and apply creases based on those. Then you also have the ability to do inner and outer targets and inner and outer edges. Using this functionality, you can come through and start creasing your model really quickly and use it with dynamic subdivision to generate interesting shapes and effects on your models.